Hi my friends, welcome back to the Sussex Daily News version 2 channel. This video, we give you a piece of breaking news. Buckingham Palace insiders have described Prince Charles's alleged rift with his two sons William and Harry as complete nonsense and wholly untrue. Prince Charles has condemned rumors of a relationship breakdown with William and Harry. Well-placed royal sources have said, the allegation that things are hot and cold between father and son has been dismissed as complete nonsense by palace insiders. Omid Scobie, one of the co-authors of a controversial biography about Harry and wife Meghan, who are believed to have cooperated extensively with the book, has made repeated statements about the prince's relationship with her dad. Mr. Scobie this week made the astonishing claim that Charles quietly supported Meghan's decision to sue a British newspaper. In the book Finding Freedom, a source said, Charles is extremely focused on his public image, and there have been times Harry has felt that he has taken precedence over everything else. Speaking to True Royalty TV, Mr. Scobie said, What is interesting, and I found time and time again, his sympathy for the couple was often there, but he was almost too afraid to voice it or take it any further. He quietly supported Harry in making the decision to sue the mail on Sunday over the letter. But did he publicly support them? No. But sources close to Charles have called the claims wholly untrue. One insider said, not only is this book incredibly one-sided for various gripes from Harry and Meghan, but claims of breakdowns in the relationship with his father and him supporting their various legal cases are also entirely false. The book also says, Charles's official 70th birthday photo, which shows three generations of the family, was a nightmare to plan because of tensions. Palace insiders have described the claim as poppycock. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are accused of wanting a billionaire lifestyle. Royals are often known for living lavishly. They reside in huge palaces, wear expensive clothes, and send their children to some of the most exclusive schools around. However, royals are also expected to be humble about their wealth and not live above their means. Nevertheless, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, and Prince Harry have come under fire times in the past few years for being too extravagant. In fact, some fans now believe the couple aspires to have a billionaire lifestyle. The first widespread criticism of the Sussexes' spending came in mid-2019, a year after Meghan joined the royal family. It was estimated that in her first year as a royal, Meghan had spent anywhere from $300,000 to $500,000 in new clothes. For comparison, Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge, spent around $85,000 that same year. Not long after, Meghan and Harry also came under fire for spending almost $3 million in taxpayers' money on renovations for their home, Frogmore Cottage. After they stepped down from being senior royals in early 2020, Meghan and Harry promised to pay back the money. They recently bought a home in Southern California, but people are still not happy. Meghan and Harry purchased their new house in Montecito for $14.7 million. It comes with 9 bedrooms, 16 bathrooms, a tennis court, and a movie theater. At a time when much of the world is juggling because of a pandemic, onlookers are slamming Meghan and Harry for living in such a lavish mansion. Some fans on Reddit recently pointed out that it seems to them Meghan and Harry want to live a billionaire lifestyle, despite the fact that neither of them has anywhere close to that amount of money. Harry and Meghan seem to want a billionaire lifestyle, the person said. They don't have the money. Money is going to be the real sticking point over time. Many a British royal has run into trouble because they want a lifestyle beyond their means. Another fan also agreed that the Sussexes might be trying to live above their means, writing, They have enough money to lead very comfortable lives and do good. Some of the lower profile members of the British royal family provide an example. They could do this and even still hang with celebrities, but it really does appear that they want 0.01% lifestyle and friends, which inevitably means hanging out with some very shady people. And in the other news, during Channel 5's royal documentary, Megan, The New Revelations, Russell Myers and Afua Adam discuss the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's departure from the royal family. They think Queen couldn't stand the idea Meghan Markle and Harry would outshine Will and Kate. Russell Myers, who is a royal editor for the Daily Mirror, and Afua Adam, a presenter for CNBC, both discussed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The royal commentator has said, 
the Queen could not stand the idea of Meghan and Prince Harry becoming more popular than Kate Middleton and Prince William. The documentary also analyzed an extract from the book Finding Freedom, which the Duke and Duchess deny any involvement in, that states the royal family feared being eclipsed by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. Mr. Myers said, when they were told that they had to be brought into the confines of the Buckingham Palace machine, I think that is when they realized their wings were being clipped and they weren't going to realize the stardom that they had set themselves up to be. Mr. Dom said, I think they were particularly worried about William and Kate, that they might become more popular than them. I think they just couldn't stand the idea of that. They couldn't stand the idea of this young modern couple, half of which is African American, potentially being more popular than William and Kate, who were their golden couple. The Channel 5 documentary also referenced an extract from Finding Freedom which said, There were concerns that the couple should be brought into the fold. Otherwise, the establishment feared their popularity might eclipse that of the royal family. But, it has been claimed, the Duchess of Sussex regularly says, Oh darling, after picking up a number of British phrases during her two years in the UK. Sources working in the Duke and Duchess's 11 million pound mansion in Santa Barbara, California, said Megan regularly uses certain very British words. One told the son she has adopted certain phrases. She often is heard saying, oh darling. The mansion staff members mimic Megan's new turn of phrase, but in a friendly way, it was claimed. They do have a giggle about it and sometimes they do impressions of her, but only in a lighthearted way, they added. I wasn't counting. But I'd hazard to guess that if anyone counted up the number of days Meghan Markle spent in the UK, they would not total at two years. Now she supposedly slips into the accent of the place she lived for all of five minutes that is the home of all of her worst memories? Doubtful. Seems if her stories were true, she would be traumatized by the mere thought of the UK and therefore wouldn't be using British terms, British titles, or British anything. And many fans also slammed Mix for that, the first wrote, she insults the British monarchy and the English people with her pitches poor attitude, and now feigns an English accent after spending a couple of years in England? I guess there's no question she's special. The manner in which I won't write. It's called having no personality first. She spoke like a bubbly valley girl. After meeting Harry, she spoke softly like women in his circles usually do. And now a British accent after only living in the UK for less than two years. She lives her life playing different characters to adapt to the situation she's in. A fan replied to this comment, Yes, she's already proven herself impossible to work for, with multiple staff changes when she was in the UK. She also seemed to think that anyone working for the royal family had to do her bidding. I'm sure she will have lots of staff turnover because her overblown sense of self-importance. Meanwhile, a fan discusses my news at the top. I don't think Scooby-Doo would throw Charles under the bus without explicit consent from the gruesome twosome. Charles probably reminded them who it is that pays their bills. I also suspect that he is protecting his own interests. He knows how the public feel about these two. If he's seen to be helping them, the closest he will ever get to the throne will be to sit on one of the sixteen Harry and Meghan now own. A fan agreed and said, The palace is starting to hit back at the ridiculous claims in finding freebies. I hope this is the start of Prince Charles showing some spine. Defund these two grifters and revoke their titles. Soon it will be revealed everything Omid said was a lie. Megan fed these lies to say to the public. She thought it would make her look like the angel in all of this. The problem is she really did not know the royal family to create lies that sound actually believable. And then Omid will be thrown under the bus for her lies about the royal family. And the last one wrote, when Harry is divorced by his socialite wife who had nothing till she met him, will she be entitled to half the proceeds of the marriage, and even though she chose not to keep her honorary title or to fulfill any duties that went with it, will she be kept by the British taxpayer in the manner she has become accustomed to? A non-stop string of embarrassments and betrayals from this dim arrogance over entitled son, and Charles rolls over and opens his wallet to millions of dashy pounds for the gruesome pair, to fund their useless, lavish lives in America. Charles better get a clue about public opinion of his fitness asking. And you? Do you agree with them? If yes, please like and share my video for anyone you think might also be interested. 
If not, leave your opinion for me below in the comment section. And subscribe to our channel to not miss any new news from Meghan Markle and Prince Harry by our team. Now, have a nice day and see you in the next videos. Everything is rounding around what Prince Charles do, he is a hard worker at work and has a special life as he raised two children alone after his beautiful wife Princess Diana passed away. Prince Charles was a for people who have experienced at this age, everything is fine, more than that it is the help that helps him complete the assigned tasks. Fervently choose your passion and enthusiasm so that his two children will learn and follow.